I'm really proud to be able to present my brand new trick, Runic, which is a limited edition release. It uses a principle that you may recognize if you've been in magic for a little while, in which case you'll recognize the principle as a really good one, but if not, it will fool you and it will fool everyone who sees it. What's new here is I've taken the principle and applied it to a prop that I haven't seen it applied to before, which is these beautiful handmade limited edition rune stones. And we've also included as a bonus a new handling, which means that you can instantly repeat the trick with a different result. And that's something I've not seen before uh, with tricks of this nature. But it's really important for this one because when you're sitting down with a few friends and you've told someone's future and predicted it, there's bound to be someone else that says, can I have a go or can you show my friend? And now you can with a totally different result using the exact same procedure. That fools everyone, even magicians. So Rachel, are you a person that reads your horoscopes or you ever had a tarot reading or anything like that? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, no. okay. Interesting. Lots of, I normally read my horoscope. I don't really think the planets are aligning depending on my job options, but I'm interested <laughs> to still read it just yes, in case. Yes, I suppose you know. I might read. Yes, yeah, I'm okay. Right. Well, we're going to try a little experiment in um, fortune telling. Um, so I've got a mysterious prediction here. You can tell it's mysterious because the question mark, that's that's how you know. Um, and then inside the bag, I've got a bunch of rune stones, which you might not have seen before, but they're basically okay. like little stones, or normally crystals or stones or something. These ones are wood. And um, they've all got different symbols on, uh, which mean different things in the same way that different tarot cards have different meanings. Right, OK. And then what we're going to do is a little um, ritual called Casting of the Runes, mm. which is also a really good short story, if you ever Google it. That's really? Good. Yeah, it's the title <laughs> of a really good short story as well. Um, but what we're going to have you do is we're going to pick them up, and I'm going to give them to you to shake around in your hands. So if you cup your hands out, that's great. Right. Give them a good shake like this, and we're going to have you spill them out on the table. We'll get rid of all the ones that land face down, um, and then we'll repeatedly do the same thing until we narrow it down to one room and that right. is the one that will tell you what your future has in store Ooh, okay okay so let's do it oops Yay! I missed excellent one. oh no i missed two <laughs> that, that's all right don't worry we'll count those as gone okay. um so uh, and also these two here will eliminate because they've landed face down but you've got four left okay. so same thing again but yeah just pick them up uh -huh. give them a good shake around and then just cast them out onto the table don't have a lot of space. It I'm counts as cardio, space. this, doesn't it? There you go, what? another one eliminated. So we'll cast that aside. Mm. You've got three left. Sometimes you'll spill them out and they all land face up. Oh, oh. what have we got here? Oh, oh, another one. Another one bites the dust. Uh, and down to the last two. Hey. hey, perfect. There you go. So we cast this one out. So you've ended up with uh, this little symbol here, which we'll leave there for a moment. And of course, you could have ended up with any of these, um, which are all have different symbols with different meanings. But weirdly, I had a little premonition about this earlier today, and we wrote down on the card the exact symbol that you've been left with, the Wunjo, which means comfort, belonging, and security. Oh. Pretty good future to have, I would say. Yeah. Pretty Clever. weird, isn't it? <laughs>